mass a transfer pendulum. What is moving it is this small electric motor with moving mass. This is the spare one. Here it is. And this is the mass, 10 pound mass. I have switched to a manual mode so I can demonstrate what is happening. I will move this 10 pound weight with that electric motor and this is my input energy. My output energy is moving the whole pendulum which is 161 pounds. Uh, LED lights will show which direction am I going. So here we go. This is backwards. This is forward. Now let's see what is happening. Let me go. without the extra mass. I'll show that later. Why do I have extra mass on a pendulum? Simple physics. More mass, more momentum, more energy. Each paver, it's a concrete paver, it's 17.8 pounds and I got four of them. The whole thing is controlled by microcontroller Arduino. That's when it's an automatic mode, of course. This is Arduino, costs around $20, and it's very easy to program. I made a program universal for any pendulum length. So this is Arduino. These are the relay switches. It's an 8th channel, I'm actually using 2 and 2. And this is a display. And this is this cable goes to the read sensor, which is right there. It gives a signal to Arduino. Every time it magnet passes through, magnet is on the pendulum. This cable goes to an electric motor. Power supply. So this is the motor I was talking about. This is my old tile cutter with the linear rail. That's a ball screw. Here is the read sensor magnet. LED lights showing direction and uh, uh, oh yeah limit switches he won and second one I'm still in a manual mode so I can demonstrate what forces are involved there are three forces involved first one it's a mass transfer it's like on a playground swing you get to the left side you move your body further left when you get to the right side you move your body further right that's a mass transfer the second motion second force is a start motion energy transfer at the moment when electric motor starts pushing or pulling the mass pendulum reaction is to move opposite way let me demonstrate. 
So I'm going to start pushing the mass this way. The pendulum will react by going up on the way. Okay, that's the second force. Let me go back. Okay. Now the third force I call stop motion energy transfer. When electric motor stops moving the mass, the energy is transferred to the pendulum and pendulum moves in the same direction. I'm gonna try to hold it. So I'm gonna go with motor and then I'm gonna stop and let me go. I'm gonna go this way. And then I'll stop and pendulum is supposed to move further that way. Oh, something like that. Go try it again. See, when I stop, pendulum move further left. So now let me explain what is the most important thing about this? It's a timing. Timing when electric motor reverses direction. So let's say now, this is the end of the stroke on the left side. Electric motor is pushing the weight this way. And like 100 milliseconds before the end, electric motor has to reverse direction and starts pushing, actually starts pulling the weight that way and pendulum still goes this way but mass already goes that way so pendulum ends up here and mass goes that way and this is what I was talking about timing stroke limit stroke limit when pendulum goes from the right to left that's the end of the stroke and this is when direction reverse point S. This is those 100 milliseconds what I mentioned before. And the opposite way, when pendulum goes from the left to right, this is where direction reverse happens. And here is kinetic energy math my input energy and my output energy input energy is moving linear slide mass on the linear slide is 12 pounds travel time is 1.45 seconds travel distance is 12 inches kinetic energy is 0.119 joules here is my output energy that's moving pendulum. So mass on a pendulum, it's 161 pounds. Travel time is the same, 1.45 seconds. Travel distance is 94.5 inches. I use two methods and final results are similar. Kinetic energy on the pendulum is 99.96 joules. If you divide 99.96 divided 0.119, you get that output energy is 840 times greater that in, than input energy. Of course, I'm not considering other forces like friction and air resistance, and this is just a reference. Now, let's see how mass on the linear slide affects the pendulum. I have removed the extra mass from the, from the pendulum. Pendulum is now around 88 pounds. So now it's no mass on the linear slide. But there is still ball screw and a wooden frame for the weight. Power on. The reset button. Positioning. All right, here we go.
much slower. Alright, let me turn it off. the button I'm gonna to try to be at the same same position positioning and here we go button positioning Two hundred pounds. I forgot to mention this shows cycle time in milliseconds. 